We did it. <laughs> That's one of the hardest things I've done all weekend is go through that tiny little door. <laughs> sure. I have a feeling we'd be driving back through Mackinac City on our way home on Sunday buying more fudge for the boys because they would be gone. Well, Fred. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, well, crud. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to go in there and see that. I, I always enjoy looking at the, the old town or the sawmill. sawmill. Yeah. Yeah. So today, uh, we are spending the day in Mackinac City, which is a great day trip destination from Wilderness State Park, where we're camped for the week. And one of the major attractions that we love in this area is the historic Mill Creek Discovery Park. Yeah, and it's it's only August 26th, I think. Yeah. And they're closed for the season. Right, which normally they are, I mean, from everything we've ever seen, they are open at least through part of September. Right. right. Uh, so they must be closing early this season. Yeah. For some reason, maybe, maybe they're, they're short staffed or something. It could that could be or renovation of some sort, getting right. something new next year. Or they're just who knows? I'm not gonna guess. I guess. No. <laughs> we don't know. So anyway, another really awesome thing to do in Mackinac City is to go to the colonial Mishla Mackinac, which is the fort. We can go there, but maybe on the way we could swing by the lighthouse, which is another really yeah. interesting um, destination. Yep. Um, and there's something that we should tell you about in this area. Mackinac City is spelled with A-W at the end, and it's pronounced Mackinac. Now, Mackinac Island is has an A-C at the end, but mm. it's still pronounced Mackinac. Mackinac. Yes. <laughs> we see some people that pronounce it Mackinac. <laughs> it's not Mackinac. It's not Mackinac. And if you're from Michigan and you hear that, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's Mackinac. It's all Mackinac. Now, why? I don't Is remember. It pronounced that way? I don't know. But hmm. anyway, that's how you pronounce it. Since this is closed, let's head on to the next destination in right. Mackinac city <laughs> and uh, see what we can see. Let's do it. Could stop and go on Main Street and stop at a fudge shop and get some get some fudge for the boys to bring home. Yeah, but once that fudge got into our camp refrigerator, would it stay there or would you get into it? Well, I wouldn't eat it all. Yeah. <laughs> but they would still get some, and that would be a nice gift for them. Sure. I have a feeling we'd be driving back through Mackinac City on our way home on Sunday buying more fudge for the boys because it would be gone. It's hard to stay out of. It, it is. But... Fudge is a big draw for when you're in Mackinac City or on Mackinac Island. Oh yeah. Fudge is one of the big things to do. It's one of the local treats. Yeah, it's delicious. So is Mackinac Island, which is right over there. Underneath Mackinac Bridge to go into 
colonial Mishlamakana, the fort. Find anything good? Yeah, I really like these old historic photos and, you know, journals, accounts of Mackinac Island and this area. I remember going through all these to find souvenirs for the boys. Oh, yeah. Lots of little stuff for them. There are interpreters inside that answer questions, which is really fun. Yeah, you get to tour this kind of as a self-guided tour, which I love. 1770s, during the American Revolution. And I'm pretty sure it was British troops that were here, isn't it? I think so. High race beds. Part of the difference with what we're seeing here compared to what we sometimes see is a lot of times we would come off season, oh, yeah. like after Labor Day, and the gardens probably aren't here anymore, and there are less interpreters and stuff. So, anyway, we'll see what we see. Cool. Last time we were here, our sons were pretty young. Oh, yeah. They had so, fun running around the boardwalk around the top there. I don't know what that's called yet. But. Yeah. Looks like it's, let's see, that's 12. I think it's a little slow. I think it's running slow. Okay, maybe it's daylight savings or not daylight no, savings? it's just like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. It's 10 <laughs> minutes slow? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because if I'm reading it right, which I'm probably not, it should be 5 minutes to 12.30, which would be right there on that hash mark. And that looks more like 12.15, and it's 12.25 right now. My engineer husband finds all the flaws with the maps and with the sundials and all Don't the other you. gadgets all my flaws <laughs> yes he does i'm joking <laughs> Did the musket make you jump? Uh, I steeled myself as soon as he said oh. make ready. I jumped. I didn't want to drop my, I was trying to film with my phone and I didn't want oh. to drop it down. Yeah. <laughs> so, make ready. <laughs> yeah, I jumped. <laughs> Coal is not quite popular in Fortis just yet. We're kind of on that, that fringe point. 
but they can make charcoal. And this, this is just regular charcoal? Right. Okay. What did you think of Fort Mitchell Mackinac this time? Oh, it was definitely fun um, and very educational. You know, I get a piece of history. I, I, I've always said history is something that you need to learn about and have a good sense of. You don't have to remember all the details. Nobody can. Right. But it, it is, it's good to know where you came from or right. you know, what's happened in your neck of the woods for however long, you know. Exactly. And it's easy for there to be stereotypes about different people groups and what happened and history right. and the mistakes that were made. But there's a lot of complex issues that were going on and it's, you know, it's just a good to learn about some of that stuff so that you don't right. jump to conclusions and harshly judge some of the people who lived sure. hundreds of years ago. Sure. And even something like this, I mean, going through it, you, you don't necessarily, you get a, a, a brief sense of what it might have been like, but it, it's hard to understand, you know. Right. People's motivations and everything. Motivations and what it was really like. Right. day-to-day -day basis or something like that. Now, one thing that's neat about this place is it's one of the longest ongoing archaeological excavations in North America. Yeah. Which I didn't realize until this trip. Yeah. Um, they've constantly got different digs going on and they're finding more and more artifacts and it gives them right. an even more complete picture of what life was like and mm -hmm. um, things that were going on and stuff. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. You know, a lot of people who come to Mackinac City, they instantly jump on a ferry and go over to Mackinac Island. Yeah. And we love Mackinac Island, don't get us wrong, but there's lots of things to see and do in Mackinac City as well. Right. And the fort is a big part of that. Yeah, oh, absolutely. This is this is probably one of the highlights, at least in my mind. I think so. Other, th other than Mill Creek um, Discovery Park, which obviously we couldn't get to today, but... Right, they both have a lot of hands-on exhibits, so they're good to come, you know, bring the kids and they can experience what life was like right. um, in the 1700s as well. It's very interesting. It's good, good stuff. this little stop called McGulpin Rock that's by McGulpin Point Lighthouse yeah. and we're gonna check it out. Yeah it looks like fun. Nice beachy area. Yeah with Let's a view of the bridge. Yes and hopefully a rock. <laughs> <laughs> bit by the camera bug well yeah i mean i got me here the rocks are showing it's a beautiful day the bridge well. is there the bridge is there yeah might as well um, yeah see how it goes yeah i didn't know you could take a long exposure picture during the day yeah yeah that's um that's why i use the the filters on the front of my camera, which I'll, I can show you in a minute, but you've probably seen in the past if you've watched any of my old other videos, I'm always sliding this brown piece of glass in front of my camera that lets a lot less light into the camera and makes it seem darker so I can get a long exposure, a longer exposure.
kind of fun. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a tour helicopter. Yeah, me too. It's probably like, this is the lighthouse. This is the bridge. Because right. <laughs> we're standing right in front of a Gulpin Point lighthouse. Protecting the camera from the wind. Oh. Or praying over the, the, the picture. Uh, yes, yes, yes. A little bit of both, maybe. <laughs> this is what I'm braving. It's a photographer's wife standing on rocks with all these spiders creeping around. They are all over the place and they scurry away, but then they come back. Yes, the glamorous life of a photographer's life. How do you think it went? It's hard to say at this point. I could only get like a 10 second exposure each time. Yeah, it's so pretty. I took a bunch of them. It's pretty bright. There's not a lot of, there's no detail in the sky, so I, I don't know. Okay. It's not like you get moving clouds or anything. Right. But we'll see. I'll get it back in the, my computer and process them together and see what happens. Okay. Gulpin Point Lighthouse and we came here a couple years ago and just oh, 2020. yeah walked around the outside but I think we're gonna see if we can go inside now yeah. What is this? Furnace room? <laughs> well, it's probably like a parlor. Does it say you are here? Parlor. Okay. Hey, I said parlor. You did. Good job. You want a cookie? <laughs> want fudge? Oh, that too. Yeah, you got me started. <laughs> Almost there, thank God for our pool noodles. <laughs> Oops, yeah, watch your back going through there. Okay. Great. Okay. Whew. Looks like you can go out on the right out there, but you gotta go through this tiny little door. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. I can. get on my hands and knees. Yeah. That's what I had to do. <laughs> oh, this is not easy. <laughs> they want only kids out here. Apparently. I almost got a leg cramp in my thigh trying to crawl through oh. that hole. <sighs> okay, we got it. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the hardest things I've done all weekend is go through that tiny little door. I wonder why you don't see very many people at the top of this lighthouse. Right. They can't make it through. The door is literally this high. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, what a view though, right? Yeah. There's a bridge. Somewhere down there is where I was just taking pictures. Did it! Yeah, they should get like a some sort of a ice cream cone ice cream cone or a coupon or something for that yes 
Yes, I deserve a whole entire brick of Mackinac fudge. Home, 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 home. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know, like a fake Elvis something or other. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. How many hours do you want? Come Careful. <laughs> it's a little easier for me because I'm not quite as big as you are. Yeah. Oh, it's still hard to get over that thing without killing your legs. Oh. No. It says children must be accompanied by an adult to go out onto the deck. A child's the only one that can fit through there. <laughs> yeah, he can tell, you can tell oh, who made you? it through because you have to lean on the thing. This is sharp. Yeah. about the storm of 1913 and 10 ships sank and 20 more were run aground. I think it said there were 253 sailors or more who perished in that one storm. Uh, it must have been a bad one. Yeah, on Lake Huron, on Lake Huron right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Pretty, pretty bad. Which is just east of here. Yeah. The other side of the bridge is Lake Huron. Right. It's not easy getting out that hole. Uh, <laughs> I don't go out the hole anymore. Yeah, yeah, you have to kind of lean on that yeah, sharp. That. Yeah, I don't get on my hands and knees anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I might not it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did it now because the next time I come back, I might not have been able to. <laughs> but it was neat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for I will say that being out, Whoops, being sorry, out on that railing or on the outer thing had my fear of heights going just a little bit. Oh, did it? Yeah, I, I mean, even though I knew I was safe and everything, just I had to be hanging on. Oh, good to know. So, yeah. Way to face your fears. Yeah. Some people make the mistake of thinking they always need to visit somewhere new and that there isn't any value in returning to the same place over and over. The thing is, we think the best travel plans include both. Some new locations that push you outside of your comfort zone and show you a part of the world you haven't experienced before. And some tried and true places that work their way deeper into your heart every time you visit. The Mackinac area is one of those familiar places that continue to draw us back year after year. It wouldn't quite be summer for us without heading there at least once. Join us next time as we continue our tiny camping trip at Wilderness State Park. And we'll show you a bit more of the actual park this time. And there might be some night photography as well. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go out and live your best life, one adventure at a time.